We've got two main uses for the tent. The first is during the TV shows. It acts as the hosting set where we narrate the drone, we operate the rover, we look at the microscope and we introduce all the roll-ins and catch-up clips. Then secondly, during rain, it's very important that we continue with the show because we have to produce a show every single day. And obviously the vehicles, when it's teeming with rain, they can't operate out there nor can bushwalk. I reckon I enjoy the tent so much because it's a sort of varied stage in which I can do lots of different things. We've got the microscope. Oh, wow. I mean, this is just amazing. I can climb a tree. I can lie on the grass and sing to a mantis. Matilda, the mantis, how lovely you are. I must say it's very pleasant to be back in here. My name is James Henry, in case you're wondering, and we are as live and interactive as Tristan and Taylor are here from the tent. Can you see that? It's a gecko. This buffalo skull is where this little gecko is living. We're sitting here with Polyrhynchus the ant. Polyrhynchus, believe it or not, tastes like lemon drops. Mmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much like a lemon drop. It, uh, this is seriously, I mean, I'm genuinely trying to show you something here. I'm sorry. <laughs> My favourite moment in the tent was probably hanging from a tree while we were doing a very complicated segment on giraffe height when I was video bombed. So, oh, there's a Nyala behind me walking past. Hello. Thank you so much. Move along. Nothing to see here. Yes, good. Off we go. Now, there's just a great variety of things to do and it provides me with a wilderness stage. If you enjoy that little taste of Africa, click subscribe here on top of this baboon skull and you can see more of the highlights from our daily African safaris. Then on the right here, if you click the little bell, you'll be notified every time we go live at dawn and dusk.